There we go. There should be sound now. All right. Yeah. Here we are. Here, here we are. Let's, let's see, let's see, let's see. Poggers, let's go, boys. Sound works. And yeah, as I said before, hello, Nash. One of the, one of the loyal viewers. My fucking boy. What kind of music are we hearing today, boys? Because uh, as you know, we always hear music for the lectures, because otherwise it's going to be very, very... I won't say boring, but oh, a bit loud. Okay, let's see here, because my my mic is a little bit uh, lower the gain a little bit. Yeah, yeah. My, cause I do this thing when I'm working, cause I listen to a lot of ASMR usually, and I like keyboard sounds. So what I do, cause my, as you can see, my uh, my keyboard is down here. You can probably see it, and my microphone is right above or yeah above my keyboard so what i do is i usually put the gain super high uh today i tried doing it with some like brown noise so it was like brown noise layered with like mouse clicks and keyboard sounds it was very very nice and just <laughs> i really liked it so let's see here if we can find some lo-fi hmm some good lo-fi holy fuck that was um, speakers, Yeti Classic. Oh, there we go. Boom. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Boom. All right. Cool. I guess, I, I guess this works. Guess this works. So how's everyone doing? What are you guys up to today? This beautiful Monday, start of the week, back on the grind, you know what it is. <sighs> I find it so impressive for these lectures, like always, like there's like 3,000 people who show interest, but we usually always end here with like 20, 30 people. It's so, it's so fun how that works out, but hey, I'm not complaining. I came home from vacation, now it's time to be back on the grind. You know what it is. And, you know, for anyone who is trying to get on that grind, that is exactly what this lecture is for. Because um, as some of you might have known, the lecture was actually delayed like three weeks. And that was because I didn't just want to come in and do another lecture, like just talk about the same stuff. Like, oh, remember to meditate or remember to do this, remember to do that. But actually make a good fucking lecture that you guys can use and with all the things that have benefited me and how I'm trying because I think a lot of people in the self-improvement sphere especially in Hamsa server they um they start doing self-improvement and then after like three four five six months they're like oh I guess the next step is for me to make a self-improvement YouTube channel and that's just not the only way that you can live a successful life. There are hundreds and thousands of other things you could do. And that's hopefully what I want to convey with this little lecture here today. So I'm, I'm very, very excited. Oof. Actually, some of the boys from my own Discord might actually be interested in the lecture too. So... Let me just, let me just throw it into my own announcements too. Uh, everyone, lecture time, if you liked the, I can just save this out in my head. I need to somehow position my mic somewhere where it doesn't cover up everything because that's just really annoying. Let's see if we can stretch the music over here. 
Now we're going to be starting in roughly like four minutes. Um, just going to let the last couple of guys who wanted to join join and just wait for it. Tavo, I'm really happy that you say that because that is the only reason that I'm doing it. I went away from like the whole playing the YouTube game, like, because fuck that shit. I'm not here. Like, I don't care about making my first 10 grand for YouTube. I'm actually going to make my first 10 grand by like doing something, like by providing massive value. And I, I wanted to make a lecture on how you can do the same because, again, I'm, it's not that I'm annoyed. I'm just like, I see so many new self-improvement videos being put up with shitty quality. And I get you had to start somewhere. Don't get me wrong. But like so many people just propagating the same shit. Like it's the same shit. You should meditate. Why it's important to brush your teeth. Why it's important to work out. Why it's important to do all these things that we already know that we need to do. So yeah, just how to get beyond that and how to get beyond the place of thinking that YouTube is the only way because it really is it and there is so much money out there in the world waiting for you Oh shit fellow Adonis's Parth and my boy Victory, let's go. Hey guys, what's up? Uh, Black Andrew Tate. Uh, I definitely really really like Andrew Tate. He is one of my biggest motivations together with Alex Ramosi and Hamza um I could, I could go on forever about Andrew Tate and how he's like changed my life and how he's genuinely helped me. Uh, so many people get caught up on like the misogyny and like, oh, this guy's a misogynist. But like if you, if you genuinely like break apart his tweets and you break apart the content that he does, a, a lot of the beginning of the videos that he does, it's very like bombastic and stuff. Mm, but once you actually like reach the end of the video and you and you're able to extrapolate the message that he's trying to tell you, you realize this guy's really fucking smart and he actually has your best interest in mind. Uh, Lowy, the lecture is going to take approximately, I don't know, 30, 45, maybe an hour. We might stay here for a little while and just chat shit. I don't know. But between 30 to 45 minutes. But for anyone who is here who's like, oh, I don't have the time. I can't be here. Um, it is going to be recorded and it is going to be put up on YouTube, so no worries. But yeah, I guess that we can start the lecture now because it's the assigned time and if people aren't here, that is their problem. Yeah, I see other things that we have heard a thousand times or is the exact opposite of what we've heard a thousand times. Clearly for clickbait. Yo, d definitely. And it's like they try to put this spin on it. It's like, bro, you just said the same. Yeah, meditation, good, porn, bad. It's okay, fine. And you just... Oh, fuck. Anyways, let's start the lecture. So if you are here today, it is because you've been doing self-improvement and you most likely are stuck in the first in like the first phase and so I made this lecture exactly for that called it transcending basic self-improvement and let's just start with a little bit of the background knowledge because this lecture was supposed to happen a month ago but it didn't because I went on vacation at that point and not on vacation to like relax but I've actually been sitting the last month and just made reels I've made reels for influential people pitching my services and be like, yo, hey, I really wanna work for you and like learning to, to craft better messages, learning to create better content. And I genuinely believe that my content is now in the top 10% at least on Instagram. If you take one of Alex Ramosi's reels and put mine next to it, you would be have a, like a very hard time finding the difference. This isn't to pat myself on the back. This is just, this is the reason that the lecture was delayed because I actually wanted to give you guys a lecture on, on the things that I did that helped me become better and how I am going to actually make money and escape the matrix, like escape the rat race. So yeah, let's get started. The most important lessons that I've learned during this month, this is kind of before the lecture, but it's all, it's all going to make sense later on. So one, making money is all about delivering maximum value and becoming a, mal a millionaire is all about delivering maximum value at scale. Uh, my friend Max, actually, he's also an Adonis in the Discord. He said that, Max Wesner. And the thing is, most people, when they think about making money, they think about what they want. They think about, what, what do I want? I want to make money. And 
I actually went ahead and applied this mindset to when I'm making videos because somebody, oh, I just need to make a bunch of videos and like pitch them and like, hey, I want to work for you and like, I want to make money or if you're making thumbnails. It's all about delivering maximum value because if you're able to create the best product, if you're able to deliver the most value, people will hire you. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter who you know. If you can just cut through the noise, obviously, because if you're trying to get in contact with very uh, people who are up there, like very famous people, it might be a little bit harder, but if they actually see your shit and you're making the best shit and they can recognize that, holy shit, this guy is actually the best at what he does, they will want to hire you. That's how it works. Second, your client doesn't care about you. Tune into WYYFM radio. What's in it for me? Your client doesn't give a fuck about what you want. Okay? And what that means is I've learned this the hard way because when you start pitching to people like, hey, I'd really love to work for you. You're like, hey, I want to do this. I am this. I do this. I really want to do this. Uh, you're, you're, the guy doesn't care. He doesn't fucking care. What he cares about is what do I get from this? So always stop talking about yourself when you're trying to convince someone to pay you to do something. Start talking about them. Compliment them. What you can do for them. How what you're going to do. Be very precise, very specific, very tangible about what you're going to do, how that is going to benefit their life. There's something very, very important that I learned. And this came from a guy called Mr. Legacy in the Hustlers University Discord. There are a lot of smart people in there. And, I'm, you know, yeah, let's just keep it at that. Because I don't want this to be like, oh, are you pitching Hustlers University? No. Um, he just delivered this, like, nugget. And it was very, what the fuck? I still haven't turned this into a slideshow. Never mind. All right. Boom. But, yeah, those are the most important lessons that I've learned this month. And I, I genuinely feel like these two pieces, like these two quotes, if you just truly internalize them and start operating based off of them, you're going to make money because it's impossible to not make the best product. Oh shit. It's impossible to not make the best product and only care about what the client wants and giving the client what he wants and not making buckets of money. Okay. So let's start with the actual lecture. What is basic self-improvement? So basic self-improvement let's you're you know you've we've all been living the jeffrey lifestyle where you're watching porn every day and you're playing video games and you know not working out you're eating a bunch of shit and you're depressed like that's just that's your existence and then you start either you find hamsa you find first man the, the like the male advantage you start watching andrew tate whoever you're like pick pick your your mentor kind of thing like your online mentor and and you s slowly start improving your life you know you start habit tracking you start ticking the boxes going to the gym you start meditating you start reducing your screen time you do all these things um and now you might be reading why only doing this for long like it's not bad self-improvement isn't bad self-improvement is in fact very very good but the problem is when you only do this for prolonged periods of time so let's say that you're a year into self-improvement and you're still only doing the basic habits like you're still because the, the point with self-improvement isn't doing self-improvement. The point with self-improvement is getting to the point where your character is so strong that he can do all the other important shit. As always, uh, I'm not gonna read the chat while we do this because it always breaks me out of my flow. So any questions or any, like, it's just keep them for the end. And for anyone who can't stay, remember it is going to be recorded. You can always watch it later on YouTube. All right, now with that being said, let's get back to the lecture. Um, but when you only do this for prolonged periods of time, that's when it becomes bad because self-improvement isn't meant, like you're not doing self-improvement for the sake of doing self-improvement. You're doing self-improvement to improve your life, to become capable of doing more things. Like it's not like the meditation itself, the, the point isn't to meditate, the point is to improve your mental health to the point where you can actually work on the things that you find fulfilling. The goal isn't necessarily to work out. Obviously, it's really fun to work out, but it's to become healthier. It's to like a big, better baseline. It's basically just to reach a better baseline. That's what self-improvement is really about. And it's a lot like building your own character because every single habit is a skill. And, you know, they're all level one skills. Like they're all low level skills that are simply meant to help you operate better. All right. So if you spend all of your time only gathering more level one skills, 
you're going to be incredibly weak in like in the bigger picture. Yeah, you're going to be a lot stronger than the guy who has no skills, like e.g. the guy who doesn't meditate, who doesn't work out, who has shit mental health, who's weak, who is, isn't disciplined, who sits in front of his like screen every day watching porn. Yeah, you're going to be a lot better than that guy, but you're not going to be able to compete with the guy who realized, you know what, I'm actually trying to be, I'm trying to build a paladin. And as a paladin, I need this skill, I need this skill, I need this skill. Yeah, I need to journal. Yeah, I meditate. Uh, I need to work out, but I don't really need to like do grounding or I don't really need to stretch. It's not necessary for me. And he builds this paladin and then he starts getting paladin skills. So let's say, and <laughs> I'm really trying to gamify this because it's very simple to understand, but let's say that, okay, he does these three things and they get him to a good baseline where he's able to absorb skills like copywriting or video editing, which is going to be the way that he's going to make money, which is going to be the way that he escapes the matrix. All right. So that obviously, uh, I went into a little bit like you don't need to adopt every single habit. And I, I genuinely believe that so many guys get lost in the sauce. They get lost in self-improvement because they're trying to adopt every single habit in the book. Like they see this one video, like the one habit that is going to change your life. And, you know, you have to watch this video. Very important. And it's just another habit. It's not really going to do that much for you if you're already at a good baseline. From there, your focus should be on getting skills that you're able to monetize. Try, like figuring out how can you actually improve your life on a bigger scale than just me and just feeling good, but actually like making money, helping out my family, helping out my peers, that kind of stuff. So how to actually start living your dream life. You've realized that you've been doing basic self-improvement and you now want to get to like the next stage. How do you do this? And there's a very simple way to achieve this. Number one, you have to believe that you're limitless. You genuinely have to believe that there is no fucking limit for you. Like that you genuinely, maybe you don't become the next Elon Musk, but you can do the things that he's done. You can build the next PayPal. You can become Mr. Olympia. You can do like become the next Tevis. You can become whatever the fuck you want to do. You genuinely have to believe this. And a good first step to do this could be reading the book Psycho Cybernetics. Uh, that book tackles a lot of like how to rewire your brain and stuff like that. Um, but now you might hear me out and you might be Tom, like 15 year old Tommy might be sitting there in your room like, how the fuck am I going to become the next Elon Musk? And I'll tell you, you have to build your own character and Usually like what you can do is either pick up your journal and start journaling on it, or you can like open up a notion document. I did this on notion because it was just like the volume that I had to write down was just way too big for like for me to just write it out. So I would just open up a motion notion document and start writing out like everything, every single little detail about the person that you want to be. All right. So it might be something like the guy that I am, like, how does he look? What is his relationship with women? How strong is he? Like, how much money does he make? What car does he drive? What habits does he have? Where does he live? Like everything, genuinely everything about this guy, write it down on a piece of paper. Okay. And again, I can see some people asking questions and typing shit in the chat. I've already said it. I get very easily distracted. So if you have any questions, save it for the end, or I might see it at the end, but just save all your questions. We're going to go for the lecture. After that, if there's any question, we can all just tackle it. And I, I believe that is the best way to do it. Otherwise, we're going to be here for like three hours. All right. So you have to build your own character. You have to write everything about this character down, everything to the most minute of details. All right. Cool. Now. There is a brain programming routine that I do, and you're gonna need the app called Brain FM for this. It's five dollars a month. Uh, I do have a referral link. I don't know if I get anything for the referral link, but one day when I was listening, it's just like, hey, invite your friends to Brain FM, and they can get it for one dollar. So technically, you can try this out for one dollar for a month if you like it. You can keep it if you don't, and whatever. But the we're, we're also gonna get into that routine later on in the lecture. But if you don't have Brain FM, you're gonna want to get it. So. Oh shit, wrong, not actually. All right, now, how do you build your character? 
you're going to take every single quality that you wrote down in your character sheet and write it down. So maybe you wrote long paragraphs about how your character is, is big and strong. All right. So make that very tangible. Like it's not just big and strong. I want to be this big. I want to be this heavy at this percent body fat. I want to be a Muay Thai fighter. I want to be able to deadlift. I want to be write it down, chop it down, make it very, very, very tangible. And you do this for every single quality of that character, for the amount of money that he made, for the car that he drove, for the like his relationships, what did they look like, everything, just write it down. And now we're gonna reverse engineer the quality into all the necessary steps that it's going to require for you to accomplish it until you're left with an ultra tangible action that you can track. Now, I obviously read that, but what that means, all right. So look at this little thing down here. Let's say I have the goal to make 1 million. All right, very basic. But, and it's, you know, everyone's like, oh, I wanna be a millionaire. But before I can make 1 million, I obviously need to make 5K. So let's start with that because it's a lot easier to turn 10K or 20K into a million than it is to turn zero into a million. So let's start with make 5K. And I realize, okay, how do I wanna make these 5,000? How am I gonna do it? For me, I wanna do it through video editing. All right, how is video editing going to make me $5,000 a month? Well, I came to the conclusion that I want it to sell to high profile clients. And then, you know, I've obviously shortened this down, but then how do I come into con like, how do I sell my services to high profile individuals? Well, obviously I need to develop the skills to be able to create quality reels that these people are interested in that they can see that their brand will benefit from it. Next, how do I develop these skills? How do I develop the skills to do this thing? It might be, oh, I need to make three reels a day. I need to make four reels a day, whatever. And next it might be, okay, now I can deliver this level of quality. How do I get into contact with these people? Because it's not easy to do. Like once you're trying to get into contact with like David Rob, like Tony Robbins, it's not easy. So you have to like, what is the best way for me to come into contact with this guy and get him to see my product to then get him to sign me and like do all that stuff. You need to do this, repeat this process for everything that you're going to do, because it is the only way that you're going to come to the tangible steps that you need to follow on a daily basis to actually become successful, to actually do the thing that you want to do. All right. I know this is, this isn't fun. This is usually where people, they, um, they hop off because they then realize the amount of work that is going to have to go into their goal. And they're like, ah, I don't really know. I don't really know about that. You prefer to be a fucking nobody as opposed to putting it like, I want you to really think about what's the alternative. Think about the alternative. You're going to live a meaningless existence because you were too scared to try. No one's going to tell you this, but I will. You might say, oh, you're a fucking, you're an idiot. You're, a, you're an asshole. Like, well, you don't know anything about my life. What I know is that if you choose to make this plan and you're like, you know what? This is a little bit too hard. I don't really know if this is for me. You're choosing to give up on your dreams because it seems a little bit too hard and you're a pussy. And your ancestors are looking at you from beyond the grave and they're frowning. They're disappointed in you. All right. So stop being a pussy and actually make the plan. Follow it. You can live a legendary life and you're going to find brothers who are also trying to live a legendary life. And it's going to, you're going to be happy that you did, but what you're not going to be happy that you did is once you're 40 and you're sitting there depressed, looking like, fuck man, I really, I really could have given more. Just remember that when you're writing this and you think like, oh, this is a little bit too hard. Anyways, so how do you implement this? Wait, fuck, I'm missing one thing. So there's a reason that you need to be very, very, very specific and make the, the things that you need to do very, very tangible. So it might be, it's not just editing, it's edit two reels, edit one video. There has to be a very clear definer as to whether you've actually completed the thing that you were supposed to do or whether you failed. It has to be very, very clear to, you know, mm, did I actually do the thing I was supposed to do or not? Like just uh, count calories. You can count your calories and still go over and you've failed on your objective, right? So very, very tangible on what you need to do. 
Now, how do you implement this into your daily life? Because now let's say that you have the plan. I think you're going to have to rewatch this lecture maybe a couple of times, maybe, maybe two times. But once you have the plan and you have the things that are going to take you to where you want to be in life, I'm obviously speeding a little bit through this, but once you have all the actions that are going to get you to the life where you want to be, this is your new habit tracker now. All right. What you've made is a habit tracker. And no, it's not going to have all the basic shit like meditate and journal and work out because you already do all those things. You don't need anyone to remind you to do all these things. OK, so you're going to print out a habit tracker. I actually have I'm going to give you guys a uh, I'm going to upload a file to the Hamsa Discord, which is the habit tracker that I use. Um, it's a file that you can like an Excel file. It's really good. And it's the one that I always use. But now that you have these very clear, tangible steps that you need to follow on a daily basis to get to where you want to be, then you're going to start working one to four hours every single day or the days that allow it. Because me personally, I have a, a nine to five on two day, two days of the week. So I don't like I, I work roughly between 10, 12 hours with transport. So I don't really have a lot of time to work on the weekends. But then every other day apart from that, I work somewhere between like four, five, maybe six hours. Start work, even if it's just one hour, start putting in that one hour of work. All right. And then you're going to progressively overload it into more. Don't panic if you're not working four hours nonstop on the first day. It's very, it's not hard, but it's challenging if you've never actually focused on something that isn't yet fun and to do it to perfection. I even still find like struggle working every once in a while. So just start one to four hours every single day, push yourself a little and keep progressively overloading until you're like from one to two to two and a half to three to four to four and a half. All right. Next, don't do any more than one to three hours of deep work. Deep work isn't answering emails. So a lot of people, they have read deep, deep work and they get a boner from saying like, oh, I've got like five, six hours of deep work today. It's like, and all they sat there and did was maybe answer a few emails or like looked over content and no deep work is actually sitting down and working with no distractions towards like, it's very monumental work. So maybe like do one to two hours of deep work a day and the rest can just be like light tasks that you need to perform anyway. Now here's a hack for when you're doing this level of work. Uh, you're going to spend the first week without worrying about productivity or being optimal, just work like you normally would. So don't worry about website blockers. Don't worry, like, don't worry about anything. Just work, just do the things that you're supposed to do. And if you get up and get water every like 15 minutes, or you have to pee every two minutes or like, don't worry about it. Just go about your work like you normally would. Now, after the first week, analyze all the work you did and ask yourself, what were the actions that kept snapping you out of focus and made it hard to work? This is where it's going to get interesting. Cause now you have to pretty much look over everything that you've done and just be like, Hmm. Okay. So I got up for work. Like I got up from my chair every like 15 to 20 minutes because I had to get water and that kind of snapped me out of my focus. How do we fix this? How do you fix? Because, because it's very important to, to focus. Otherwise you're just going to like your free hours of work aren't going to amount to anything more than one hour of product. Oh shit. Is there something wrong with the, oh, fuck it, man. Let's just make this super small. Who cares? I'm not the important part here. Oh, fuck. Um, you're going to have to analyze all the things that you did that were making it difficult for you to work. Because even though you might have sat in front of your computer for quote unquote three hours, you might only have gotten one hour of work done because you were constantly like shifting your focus from thing to thing. And whenever you stood up, you had to get down again and you had to like, oh fuck, I need to get back into the zone. And most of your work was destroyed because make no mistake for you to actually become the person that you wrote down. This is very general because obviously I'm, I'm not going to give it only from my example, but let's say if you want to become a thumbnail guy, you want to be a graphic designer, you're going to have to put in many, many, many fucking hours into your craft to actually get good enough to the point where Marvel wants to contract you. All right. And if you, even if you, you spend three hours in front of your PC, but you only do one hour of work, it's going to take you a long time to actually get good, to actually reach the point where you are going to make money. So analyze everything that you did 
that destroyed your focus that got you away from work and write down a way like, okay, how do I fix this? All right. Like right, ne right next to them, write the solution and what kind of environment you would have to create for this. Let me give you an example. For me, if I get up and drink water every 20 minutes because I'm like, I'm a little bit thirsty. It's like, all right, obviously the alternative is get a fucking water bottle, place it right next to you. Maybe get two water bottles because you drink a lot of water. Maybe it's, oh, I'm peeing a lot. Well, pee before you start working. I won't be as extreme as saying like, oh, just take a bottle and put it under your pee in it when you need to. But you know, find ways, okay, how can I combat myself from getting up? Maybe it was you're shifting saw, like from song to song and it's snapping you out of your focus because suddenly a song that you don't like comes on and then it's just like, oh, fuck, I don't like this song. Let me go find another song. And you go into the rabbit hole and, ah, oh, let me just check Instagram while I'm at it. Find, like, the, the alternative is, oh, maybe I just need to get Brain FM. Maybe that's the way because then you don't have to shift your music all the time and find new music. It's just music that's specifically designed for working. Uh, maybe if you're checking your phone all the time, maybe you need to get forest, maybe you need to get like a website blocker and an app blocker for your phone and an app blocker for your desktop, whatever it is, just figure out every single problem that is currently stopping you from delivering the highest quality of work and be very honest about this because otherwise it's not going to work. And in the end, it, I don't believe that you know, you can fool yourself because you're the easiest person to fool and you can fool yourself to like, oh, I'm working and I'm doing this. But ultimately, what you want isn't necessarily to feel good. What you want is to actually reach your goal. So stop fooling yourself. Stop being like, oh, no, but I'm actually being very, very productive for these free hours and there's nothing I'm doing wrong. And while you're sitting there with Instagram on one side, like looking through the explore page and you're getting up every 20 minutes to get water and you know, stop, just be very, very honest with yourself because that's going to be super necessary for you to actually be able to combat the problems that are stopping you from delivering you the best quality work. So yeah, we've pretty much gone over all of this. Quick recap, just work, figure out what, what was it that made it hard to work, create the solutions, create an environment where those solutions are very easy to adhere to. All right. So reprogramming your brain, the advanced section. So I, I went a little bit over this before, uh, the brain FM 30 day challenge. So you're going to get brain FM and it's only going to cost you $5. And I'd say that's a very small price to pay to potentially fix every single mental blockage that you currently have. So you're going to start by writing down the beliefs that you want to adopt. You can also uh, repeat the same beliefs over and over to further ingrain them into yourself. So here, what you could do, let's say that you're really bad at women. Like I consider myself to be bad at women. So I had to like write down women don't define me or like women don't aren't like they don't validate my existence. What you're going to do is you're then going to go lie in your bed. You're going to put on your headphones, go into brain of them. You're going to go into the meditate setting. You're going to set it between 15, 30, 60 minutes, however much you you may have. And you're going to lie in your bed with your headphones on and you're going to repeat this sentence that you want to like this belief that you want to ingrain in your head. You're going to start thinking of scenarios that uh, propagate this, like what would your like look your life look like once you start once your belief system is like this, like what would your life look like if women didn't validate your existence? What would that look like? And think that over for all for the entire duration that you're lying there. And there's nothing wrong in falling asleep. I've actually found that that further helps ingrain the belief into my brain. And it's just really, really good. And you're going to do this routine every single day for 30 days. And you're going to walk, like your life is going to change. Obviously, it's not like I am super confident around women now, but it's getting better. And I'm going to keep doing this routine. And every time I do this routine, it's going to get better. So highly recommend that you do it. I'm probably going to leave a link for brain offender or whatever, like uh, further, further down. And if you want to, you can get it. I don't actually think I get anything for like, I might get a free month of brain FM, but I don't really think I get anything from referring you guys. So it's not MLM. <laughs> Anyways, uh, fuck. Now, We've actually gotten to the end of the lecture. 
This wasn't supposed to be super long. I wanted it to be short and sweet. Uh, but some ending statements. You have to be a little off to go where you wanna go. At least I do. So I want to own a Ferrari by at least by the time I'm 30. I wanna be able to travel the world. I wanna be able to retire my dad. I want to I want to do some pretty crazy shit with my life, all right? And to live that life, I've come to the realization that I have to be a little bit off, just a little bit off. And that a lot of what the mainstream media is propagating isn't something that I can adhere to if I want to live this very exceptional life. All right? So you need to reprogram your brain to feel pain and discomfort when doing dumb shit. That is a realization that I came to. So you have to, you have to feel so much pain by the fact that you could potentially not reach your goals and you are might end up being a fucking loser till the day that you die. That you have all this potential and that you might potentially end up being a loser. I think you need to really contemplate that feeling. I know that I do that very often and it very often motivates me, but what happens when you actually start thinking like this is whenever you're doing dumb shit, whenever you're playing video games for free hours, whenever you're sitting there binging anime, whenever I read way too much manhwa, I start getting this physical pain like, fuck, I need to do something. I need to do something. I'm being unproductive. And some people are going to say that, wow, that is very, very unhealthy. It might be for you. Yeah, you might think it's very, very unhealthy, but that is going to be the belief system that is going to make me rich. I'm going to shame myself into doing the work that I need to do. All right. So you have to reprogram your brain to feel pain and discomfort when doing dumb shit. Dumb shit, it's, you know, very, it's different from person to person. For some, it might be, you know, watching the Kardashians or playing World of Warcraft for 10 hours. But um, yeah, it's, it's different from person to person. And you have to reprogram your brain to feel massive pain when you're doing this thing, at least in, you know, in moderation. Okay, so you can, it's not, I'm not saying you can never do anything fun again, but you just have to become very, very specific. Like, okay, I'm going to watch one episode or I'm going to watch two episodes, like one hour a day I have where I can do whatever the fuck I want. And the rest is just like work. All right. And the last thing that I want to say is that massive upside and success never came from moderation to have irregular results. You have to live in a regular life. I have coworkers who don't understand my way of thinking. I had this conversation with a friend yesterday and he was like, man, I'm I just like, fuck, I just don't, I can't work out after these 10 hour shifts. And I said to him, yeah, I mean, I do, but it's like, yeah, but you can't, you can't work out that hard, right? It's like, no, you just can't. It's like, bruv, we don't live in the same existence. We don't live in this on the same plane. I have to do this shit. Like if I don't do it, most, what I'm trying to get at that most people are going to, they're going to put their worldview on you. They're going to say, ah, you can't do this. Isn't this a little bit too extreme? Isn't this, you know, a little bit crazy? Isn't this unhealthy? Oh, I think you're, you're that, that can't be good for you. And one thing that I've realized with the people that usually say these things and have these beliefs is that they're fucking broke. They're fucking broke. They're out of shape. They're like not disciplined. They're not where they want to be in life. And they're like, ah, I should, isn't this a little bit unhealthy? Isn't it? look, you can listen to these people and you can, you can think to yourself, you know what? I deserve that ice cream. And you, you might, you might, you might deserve that ice cream. But I think you need to ask yourself, is this ice cream going to help me attain the results that I deep down want. Because this is what I mean within a regular life. Everyone, you see people around you going out drinking, going out eating, and you're like, man, I should, I really want to do that. I deserve that. And that's fine. You can have that. You can do that. But 
you the, like the price that you might have to pay is your dream life. At one point, once you like, it's never oh you can't ever eat ice cream again. You can't ever do this. You can't ever do that. You can't ever do things you enjoy. This is not what I'm saying, but you have to be 95% about it and 5%, you know, oh, let me just enjoy a little bit because that's, what's going to allow you to live a life where after three, four five years of genuinely <clears throat> genuinely working hard, we're going to be able to do whatever the fuck you want for the rest of your life. And once you realize that it becomes incredibly easy to do hard work, it's not going to that it becomes impossible and you're never going to do a bad thing again, but it makes it substantially easier to do the right thing when you have to do it. Anyways, that is pretty much going to be it for the lecture. Um, hope you enjoyed it. And now for questions, a uh, good book for starting a business. Get the book $100 million offers by Alex Ramos. It's probably going to be one of the best books you're ever going to read. And he's practically giving it away for free. So man, this is hard for the voice. But let's just return the webcam to regular size. Sheesh. I apologize if it was a little bit all over the place, uh, but I hope that you got the main, the main point. The main point of this lecture is you have to create the first you have to believe that you can do anything and the way that you do this is by reprogramming your brain with brain fm and by reading the book psycho cybernetics i highly highly recommend it it should be one of the first books that you read because it, because it's a cornerstone book it's going to make everything else easier secondly you have to write down everything about the character that you want to be and then you have to reverse engineer every one of those traits you have to like oh if i want to be a strong kickboxer I need to train five times a week and do kickboxing twice, like two, two of those times are gonna have to be kickboxing. And then I'm gonna do cardio and conditioning training. And I have to do that five times a week and I'm gonna track that I do it five times a week. If you wanna become a millionaire, it's like, okay, I need to start making this much money, this much money. All right, fair enough. How do I go about making that much money? And then you break break everything that you, like take the character that you are, break every single one of the traits that he has, break it down into smaller pieces and build a habit tracker out of it. All right? And if you ever need help, I mean, I guess send me, I, I could be more, do you, do you guys want me to do like breakdowns of like, I know people like the autistic breakdowns, but do you guys want me to like open Photoshop and give you an example of like what it could be like to, um, yeah, you can, you can get a, I'll, I'll get a link of it. No worries. Uh, how the fuck PNG? Yeah. Microsoft PowerPoint. All right. Do a breakdown. Fair enough. Let's open a way bigger file. Believe that being honest with yourself, even when it's not honest. Absolutely, Castle Miner. Absolutely. Look, the thing that's so important about honesty, I could not track the amount of cheese that I put in my meals. And I could just pretend that it's 10 grams when I instinctively know it's closer to... 40 grams. I can write the 10 grams in my fitness pal and I can feel real good about myself for reaching my calories, but that doesn't change the fact that I probably went over. Yeah. So sometimes you need to crush your ego. You need to be very honest with yourself and say, you know what? I am actually failing. I am indeed failing. So I, I wrote a message on, on my Discord. Um, let me read it to you. Let me read it to everyone here. 
there's a lie being propagated by the media and every single weak-minded individual on the face of the planet. You should love yourself. Be kind to yourselves. Go out and break, go, and then you just go out and break your diet for like the fourth time this week while binging seven hours of Netflix. Be kind to yourself. Remember that. If you've actually put in the work, and you know, you know, you know obviously know what this means. Don't lie to yourself. Uh, don't be harsh. You at least tried, and you put your best foot forward. Like this is if you genuinely tried, if you did your best. But being kind to yourself when you're being a complete and utter fucking pussy, giving up ground on areas you know should you should give your absolute best. You don't deserve kindness. You should be disgusted with yourself. You let yourself down. You let the future version of you down. And every time you willingly let him down, every time you make the conscious decision to be a fucking pussy and bitch out on the things that you know you need to do, the things that will take those big lofty goals you wrote down, like the things that will take you to those big lofty goals you wrote down, you're letting you down. You're programming your brain to allow bitch behavior. Some of you have to get fucking angry. I need to get fucking angry too. I do because I'm failing too. I have days where I'm a fucking pussy too and I'm being honest about it, but I'm doing my best to fix it. Forget about all the like be kind shit. Sometimes you gotta be fucking ruthless, relentless. You have to look yourself in the mirror and your brothers deep in the eyes and say, you're fucking failing and you're letting your ancestors down. If you just want to be an NPC and live an average life, just, just ignore this message. It's, it's not for you. Go back to watching Netflix, skipping the gym, playing games where you should be working and eating that big bowl of junk. But if you're reading this and you have big goals, big aspirations, you want to retire your father type shit, you have to become fucking angry at your inability to stick to the things you said you would. I'm not saying become a machine devoid of all fun. I'm not saying you can never watch another episode of anime. I'm not saying you can ever go out again. I'm saying stop being okay whenever you slip on your diet, whenever you don't do the work you scheduled to do. Become furious at yourself. Become hyper aware at the moment you fail and stop allowing it so casually. Resist, fight your goals and claims mean nothing without the work ethic and conviction to follow through on the crucial tasks that will get you there. Love yourself when you're doing the things that will lead you to the results you most desire. I wrote that message and I was fucking Furious. And for everyone asking for the link, um, let me just uh, copy. Boom. There you go. But you you need to really get angry with yourself every once in a while. You need to be honest. And it's not comfortable, like, it's not comfortable looking yourself in the mirror and being like, you know what? You're fucking failing, mate. You're being a pussy. It's much nicer, like, yeah, my habit tracker's ticked. Everything's going great, but sometimes you have to be really honest with yourself and it's not fun, and you're gonna have to do it if you wanna reach your goal. So that's that's all there is to it. Um, great question, Castle Miner. Sorry if I, I went a little bit on a, on a tangent. But let's actually go about what this would look like. Let's go, let me go on about how I did this for me, and then you can just put it over your own kind of thing, all right? Uh, while I'm at it, let me find the Brain FM link because I see some people asking about it. Uh, Let's actually just listen to Brain FM stuff because it's it's very nice. Friends join, refer a friend, copy refer link. <sighs> Fuck. All right, apparently my referral link is too long. It's too, it's too long. So I think if you click that, you should be able to like go to Brain FM. All right, let's go. Let's just listen to Brain FM stuff. For anyone who doesn't know what it is, it's this is what it looks like. You can go in here, choose the activity that you wanna do, like whether it's learning, creativity, deep work, and then just choose all, between all the genres that they have. Oh, they added some new shit. Uh, choose the neural effect. Think, yeah, you can also, you also have like a sleep setting, a relaxed setting, 
uh, like chill, unguided meditation, recharge. There's a bunch of good shit. Let's not have rain right now. Um, what can we have? No, let's just focus and focus and creativity. Let's just listen to some fucking piano. All right, dope. Dope. Uh, I don't really care about whether you guys use my link or whatever, like it's, it's whatever. If you wanna get it for like a dollar, genuinely just, um, actually, yeah. If you wanna get it for a dollar, just join the Discord. I leave like a, a referral link for, Brain FM, let's just Brain FM refer link. If you wanna get the thing, uh, it's in the Discord in the announcements. You can just get it there. But anyways, back to the important, like the important thing, how to actually go about breaking down your character. Now, let's say that your main goal is holy shit that is very very small lorem ipsum all right placeholder cool is the volume too loud on it is it still good are we are we gucci waiting for confirmation before i actually go on this rant all right, dope. So let's say that I start out with 92 kg, 10% uh, body fat, or let's say 12% body fat, whatever. Fuck it, let's go. Then the next step is, works, nice, it works, boom. It might be uh, join a gym. join a gym because that's how I'm going to start doing the exercise. And then the next step might be start working out five times a week. And we're obviously going to have to like make like do something here with the spacing because this is just bad. Start working out five times a week. Then you have the next step, which is start counting calories. And then after, like you, you just go infinitely about this, okay? Because you have the initial goal, which is I wanna get to 92 kg at 12% body fat, and then you just infinitely go on like, okay, what are all the steps that I need to do to actually do this thing? Obviously I need to join a gym. I need to start working out. I need to do this X times a week. I need to start counting calories. It might be find a training plan and you just infinitely start doing this over and over again until you have a good plan. So we obviously know it's like for, for working out, it's not really that hard. It's just like, okay, on my habit tracker, I wanna get to 92 kg, 12% body fat. I just need to start counting calories and work out five times a week. Boom, simple. For business, it might be a little bit more complicated. It might be something like, okay, I wanna make 10, 1 million a year. Okay, first I need to start making 5k a year. How do I make 5k a year? What do I want to make 5k a year doing? Uh, oh, that is a that is a great question, but I would just say maybe you don't need to be that specific. I mean, I know I said it's very important to be specific, but if you don't know what weight you want to be like, then it's simple. It's okay to just have a picture that you want to look like. That is okay too. And then you just okay. What would I have? Please load the stream up on YouTube. Oh, fucking. Anyways, 
Um, you might know that to reach that physique, you need to train a lot of abs. You need to monitor your diet. If you need to bulk, you know that you need to stay above your current like base, like maintenance calories. Okay, so to some extent, you maybe you don't need necessarily a specific number, but you just need a specific physique. And you're like, okay, maybe I just need to train more delts. All right, I'll train more delts because his the delts on the guy on the picture is fucking huge. And you, you just go about it like that. Don't take everything I say like completely literal. Like you can just use a picture and not necessarily 92 kg and X amount percent body fat, but just, yeah make a plan to help you discover what to read. For example, I want solid abs, find out what work is to do, find out. Yeah, it's, it's exactly like Ray J said. I think so many people are fucking NPCs and they, ha and they don't want to do any thinking by themselves. So I'm seeing this a lot in Hustlers University where people are genuinely fucking NPCs. They just copy and paste and they don't want to do any independent thinking. You need to do a little bit of independent thinking. Okay? So if you have a picture of, let's see if we can find a picture, like, um, ba, 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 sis. Let's have a, a picture of sis. If you look at this picture and you're like, this is my dream physique. If you have some independent thought you're like okay this guy is super super lean so that's the first step i have to get really really lean or maybe if you're skinny maybe you need to build some muscle you can see okay he has some a pretty good chest and then the next is how do i build a good chest and you start googling that you start researching that okay he has some pretty good abs some decent legs how do you build good legs and you start watching a video on that and okay Maybe now I need to bulk. What is the best way to bulk? You find a video on that and you know, you go about it like that. It's not, you can do some independent thought and ask yourself what would be the best way to do this. And obviously be very critical to the content that you watch on YouTube, but watch something like what, see the goal and then ask yourself, okay, how do I get big shoulders? You don't know? Well, Google up how to get big shoulders. Like it's very, very simple. Once you actually dedicate a little bit of processing power to how you're actually gonna reach your goals. Chris is... Look, you're not an NPC for asking. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that certain people are very, very scared of having independent thought. And you have to develop a certain sense of like confidence in the fact that you can actually make good decisions. So many people outsource all their thinking to everyone else on the internet. And that is very, very dangerous because you end up being like, if that person suddenly disappears, it, it also makes you very impressionable. That's another thing. But you can't outsource all of your thinking, all of your life decisions to other people on the internet. Should I cut? Should I bulk? Should I do this? Should I do that? And you just ask people on Discord and you just believe that everyone has more knowledge than you. Like you're... I, I don't believe that most people are, are stupid. Like I believe most people are indeed very, very intelligent, but they've just been told that they're not. And once you believe that you're stupid for long enough, you de you develop this like, oh no, I have to ask everyone else, like, what should I do? Should I buy this item? Should I buy this transmog in World of Warcraft? Should I buy these shoes? Holy shit. Should I buy this shirt? Hey man, does this, wh what do you think? Does this shirt, nah, I don't like the shirt. All right, doesn't buy the shirt even though you like the shirt. Like, it's, it's okay to make decisions yourself. And the sooner people realize this, the better their life is going to be. Like once you realize that other people know just as little as you, if not less, and that you can actually make your own decisions, that you can actually live your own life, uh, life changes very, very drastically. And you start seeing yourself as a professional. So, but anyways, I feel like I could go on and on about this, but it's going to be like, you get, you get the idea. Think outside of the box and really dedicate some time to this.
dedicate some time to doing this properly, to actually writing down a good plan, to asking yourself, what are the things that I want to do? All right. To anyone who doesn't know, IPAC is a fucking G. All right. This guy, I, I want everyone to give IPAC a massive round of applause. Everyone. Because this motherfucker really went from never having touched Photoshop, never, and now, maybe two months after, I don't know when I started making the, lect like the lecture on making thumbnails, he watched that lecture and now he's actually making money on Photoshop. He's making money creating thumbnails for people. And I'm so proud of him. He is such a G. He's improved so much in his Photoshop skills. And that is, that is a testament to the fact that you can all do this. You can all download for and it doesn't have to be Photoshop. It could be video editing. It could be something else entirely. And you can dedicate mo two months of your life to it. Become incredibly good at it and start making money. It's so easy to make money on the internet. You just need to actually put in some effort. But I don't really have anything else to, to add to this. It's, uh, it's been a great lecture. I hope that you guys can use this and that it somehow helps improve your life. And yeah. I don't know, man. Like, I don't really have anything else planned for today. So, uh, if there's no, if there's no real questions left, I'll just turn it off now. The lecture is going to be live the second that I press the end stream button. So, unless there's anything pending, anything very urgent. Uncle Joe, I honestly don't. Like there are some machines that you can use at the gyms, but apart from that, I don't really know. I guess, yeah, it's just finding a machine that measure it, but don't really go for, just go for looking good. Like 10, 12% body fat, that's more like a benchmark in your head. So yeah. Uh, lost shaded. Yeah, I mean, it, it kind of depends on how advanced you are and how able you are to focus. I prefer unguided meditations, but that's just me. <sighs> how can you get ahead at a young age, like early teens? Just what this is, this is what the lecture is about. This that is what the lecture is about. So if you didn't watch the lecture, no, the just watch the lecture, guys, because we got derailed a little bit at the end. But just watch the lecture, and yeah, I guess being an individual is actually not a bad a bad call to how you actually get ahead in life. But yeah, I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>